Alrighty guys. Well, I hope everyone's having a wonderful Memorial Day. Uh, this is Monday and um, I'm <laughs> out here in the garden. Um, I thought I was done saying this, but I'm out here trying to beat a big rain coming in. So um, we've got quite a bit of rain forecast for the next week and um, I didn't have everything ready out in the garden. Um, my family and I, we took a little little trip out of town for the Memorial Day weekend, excuse me, and um, we got back in this afternoon and I run out here and been trying to uh, get everything as much as I could planted anyway. And I still got a few things. I, ha I hadn't planted my flowers yet, but I got all my other stuff out in the garden. Um, so what I've done today is I got out here and I tilled the garden up again, uh, this big patch over here and then I tilled everything else up one more time, even my flower bed, even though I wasn't ready for it. I wanted to go ahead and turn it over one more time. Um, so I got my okra set out. Uh, that Those plants were getting too big in the in my trays. Um, I also got my watermelon and my Cherokee tan pumpkins. I've got those planted. I've got a really small patch of corn planted over here. Now, I, I did a small patch for several reasons. Last year, I struggled with my corn. Um, uh, two years ago, I had a really good corn patch over on my other side over there. Then last year over here, um, I planted two or three patches. I know the first patch, the rain washed it away. I had a heavy rain. This is a slope, so it washed all my little young corn plants. Just as coming up, it washed it all away. And then um, then my second planting, the uh, crows come through and took every bit of it. So I didn't try for a third. I think it was just two plantings I had last year. Now, I went ahead and planted it today, planted a small patch. I'm, I'm just going to see what happens, mainly. I uh, planted some silver queens, what I had. And um, I just want to see see if it holds up in these. these uh, they're calling for some pretty heavy rain. But I'm hoping the way I've got it planted that it won't wash away. We'll see. Um, I'll show you what it looks like if it does come up. But um, here's what I'm doing, though. I'm, I'm growing a very small patch. It's a 10 by 10. And I just want to see how much corn I can grow in a 10 by 10 space to put up for my family. Uh, that's uh, that's just a little experiment. I know I could, I've got more space out there. I could plant a big corn, pretty good sized corn patch, but I didn't, um, I just want to try this 10 by 10 experiment, I guess this year and see how that goes. Um, two years ago, I had a little bigger patch. and got quite a bit of corn off of it. Um, it wasn't in the best location, but I did get quite a bit. But I just want to see what I get off of 10 by 10 out here and I'll bring you along. Um, I got some seeds in from Hoss um, this weekend while I was gone. Um, so I planted these out there today, uh, Momentum Bush Beans. I've heard a lot of good things about these. So I've just got one double row I planted of these things. I just wanna see uh, how they do for me. I've never planted um, bush snap beans. So I, I got some of those planted. Um, also, I mentioned I've had some struggle with some squash. So I got some gold prize squash from Halls. I got those set out. Um, let me see what else I planted today. So I've never tried these either. Uh, I got these at my local farmer's co-op, uh, Henderson Lima Bush Beans. Um, I just want to try them out. I've got three rows of those planted out in the garden. Now this is my silver queen that I had. So I got that planted. Um, I also, I hadn't planted these yet. I'm gonna plant these here in a week or two. But I've got some Max Pack from Hoss and I'm gonna set those out here in a week or two. And um, Let's see how those do. Let me walk you out here. I'm gonna get in a drink of water and I'll walk you out here and show you sort of what I've done. All right. Got my wheel hoe out here. Been uh, using the plow set to get me some, get my rows set up. It, I like that plow set just because I can set me a straight row with it. Pretty straight, you know. Don't don't put a line on me, but it's pretty straight for the most part. Um, so over here, right now, there are my rattlesnake pole beans, and they are really coming up good. I'm going to defend them uh, this week after the rain. Um, I've got right here. I planted some squash, and um, I don't know. I'm struggling with squash this year. I've got these are coming up pretty good right now. Uh, but a few of them didn't germinate, so I stuck a few of those um, gold prize in there to see how those do for me. And then I've got this whole row. This is my okra that I started in in the barn, and um, I set that set that row out, and it's looking good. Um, 
Uh, it's wilted a little bit right now because I, I was gone and my plants got a little bit dry on me, but it's actually pretty good because they popped right out of the trays real easy. My, these tomatoes are really looking good right now. I don't see any that are just uh, obviously turning yet. I feel these red snapper, they look a little bit different, the color on them. Right now, they're sort of a white color. It's hard to see it because of the sun. But um, I feel like that the color is turning a little bit. Uh, my cherry tomatoes... They I, they should be turning in times now. I mean, this is the way they look. Um, they uh, is getting green. You can see them all in there. I'm really I can't wait for my first tomato. Um, then uh, my cucumbers are starting to come along now. I've mentioned some of my struggles on that, and um, I've uh, I've come back and. Um, I stuck a few seeds in in my skips there where I had a few that I lost and um I planted a few extra there and we'll um that they they germinated this weekend while I was y'all I was gone so I was happy to see that when I got back. So over here in my big patch I've got right here if you can see them they're sort of small in there. I got it going crossways here. I've got my Cherokee tan pumpkins. And then just one single row of that. I'm going to leave plenty of space for those to grow. I think those really grow out. So I've left me a pretty big space here in the middle between them. And just let them grow in this area. All down here, those are my bush beans that I planted that I mentioned. My momentums are here on the edge. And then I've got three rows of those Henderson Llamas. And then right here in this little corner here, that's my little 10 by 10 corn patch I'm testing out. And then right next to it, I got me my watermelons planted. And I, I set out all those watermelons that I had in the barn. Uh, they were started with the pumpkins. And so I wanted to go ahead and get those out. They were just getting too big in the tray. And um, I knew with the rain coming that they're forecasting, it may be a little bit before I could get back out here with the tractor. And it's just, it's the perfect dryness right now, it really is, to get out here with the tractor and get everything tilled up. So. I sort of rushed and got everything set out here and uh, hopefully this rain doesn't wash everything away but we'll see what happens like I said this is just more of a garden garden tour garden checkup video uh, show you how things are doing um, here's uh, one of my cinder jalapenos they're blooming I don't know that I found any little jalapenos yet but they are really loaded with the blooms uh calendula it's looking good um that's some lettuce i i planted and i really had and i ate just a little bit off of it i need to cut it because it's going to head or going to seed and then look at this thing this is my daughter's cabbage that thing is amazing uh, we're going to cut it this week and uh, harvest it out and get a weight on it for her little contest at the school uh, that was done through burpee that was a really neat neat deal that they did with the students there i don't know how many actually planted their plants probably not many but um we planted hers and it did really good in that uh, little raised bed area that i got down there um and then here i'm probably gonna start picking some of these see those pepperoncinis they're looking good and uh my peppers pretty proud of my pepper row and pepper bed um i've got mostly in this bed here is my pepperoncinis i got a few cinders down here on the end and i got some more cinders down there um and then i started a few more peppers uh, more pepperoncinis and jalapenos uh, i just had a few seeds left over so i went ahead and planted them and i got them in the barn i'll set them out here in um, a couple weeks and um things are looking good here in the garden i'm really proud of how things are how things are going um it's uh we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. Like I said, we were gone, and so I wasn't able to check on my plants for a couple of days. Uh, come back, and my sunflowers were looking rough. I hope they bounce back after that. I probably will lose a few of them, but I got some water on them. And so most of them pop back up, but there's a few that I will probably end up losing. I'm a little bit, a little bit upset about that at myself. Um, that's sort of the trouble I have, especially with those big trays like that. Those smaller 12 and 24 cell trays that I've got from Hoss, they seem to hold water a little bit better. They don't dry out as quick. This big 162 cell tray, it does dry out a little bit. 
but for the most part there's my sunflowers i think for the most part everything's come back there's a few in there that didn't come back um let me see where are my giants at let's see if i can spot them in here everything's sort of growing together i think i think that this is the giants right there right there's one of the giant and then uh so that on this end here will be the pro cut pro cuts and this is the autumn beauty i'll still have plenty of sunflowers and i have a whole bunch more of those um giant sunflower seeds that i've not planted yet so i'll get them put in the ground soon um over there under the lights that's my little girl zinnias and uh, they're they're looking good they didn't dry out a bit this weekend so i'm proud of them and then right up here Here's those peppers I started. And I'll just start those in some peat pellets. And they're looking good. They're going to need a little bit of water. I'll do that here in just a minute. I'm going to sign off of this video. I appreciate y'all watching again. Like I said, I just sort of wanted to hop on here and give you a little update. Um, I hope you enjoyed my deer fence video. Um, it's actually posted today. Uh, if you hadn't checked it out, go check it out. Um, that's sort of how I do electric fencing for deer. And um, bugs are biting me. Um, and then I've got a, um, I can't remember what video I've got scheduled for Wednesday. This video that I'm doing right, recording right now, it'll come out on Friday, uh, the Friday after Memorial Day. Sorry about the chickens and they're talking to me. Um, but uh, I'll be back here next week on sort of a, hopefully a little bit more normal garden activity. And uh, we'll get out here and I'll show you how things are going. I hope you guys again have had a blessed Memorial Day and uh, I'm thankful for all those that have paid that sacrifice for us so that we can may be free and do the things that we do here in our wonderful country. I hope you stay well and I will catch you on the next video. Goodbye.